Brexit poll. Is latest lorry chaos in Dover entirely due to Brexit-like Remainers' claim? Gridlock traffic at the Dover port crossing has been partly blamed on Brexit red tape. But does that really take into account all the facts? Vote in our poll. Congestion at Dover is currently believed to be so bad that it could be costing transport companies upwards of £800 per lorry each day. British hauliers of perishable goods have said that products are going bad, adding to costs and creating enormous waste. According to British Ports Association, BPA, Chief Executive Richard Ballantyne, the gridlock can be attributed to the suspension of P&O ferry services at the terminal as well as Easter traffic, IT issues and bad weather. He did, however, also point to Brexit rule changes as part of the issue. Mr. Ballantyne told Sky News, there's still congestion. P&O ferries is out of service at the moment. Which is probably the main cause of all the congestion, coupled with one or two other little incidents, and other Brexit scenarios. These Brexit scenarios are believed to constitute a key piece of IT used for customs checks which have caused issues. Under the new system, drivers needed scannable barcodes for rapid processing at ports including Dover. But not all lorries have these yet and the temporary workarounds are leading to delays. The Road Haulage Association, RA, said lorries were continuing to have issues with the new system needed by hauliers following Brexit. RA said it was also taking a further 15 to 20 minutes for each driver to clear checks needed since full customs controls came into force at the beginning of January. The traffic build-up is seeping into the surrounding areas, with a 23-mile stretch of the M20 closed to store queues of lorries heading for Dover as part of Operation Brock. While the A20 Roundhill Tunnel has also been closed under the traffic scheme. Dover County Council has said it is ready to declare a major incident should the traffic disruption around Dover continue this weekend. Mr. Ballantyne insisted that, as frustrating as it is for people in queues, the traffic management system is actually working.